Hey guys, welcome back to the Was Another Transfer Show. On today's episode, we have Ngobu to the era de Visi. Lunga could be joining the Brazilians, and Happy Jelly will stay a Buccaneer. Right before we get into the episode, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button, turn on all your notifications so you are always up to date with the latest PSL news. We kick off the episode as Shaba is set for a Mazulu exit already. Simpiwe Shabalala could be on his way out of a Mazulu as he's yet to make an impact since arriving at the Durban base club at the beginning of the season. Usutu took a big gamble when they signed Shaba who hadn't played football in over a year and it seems that the gamble didn't pay off as he's still sidelined nursing injuries. Shaba arrived when Ayanda Dlamini was still in charge and there was much hype around his arrival. However, under new coach Benny McCarthy, Shaba is still not yet available and according to sources close to the situation, he doesn't look like he's gonna be an Amazulu player for much longer. It doesn't look like Shaba will end his contract with Usutu. There are so many things happening at the club and he has been struggling to finish training sessions ever since he arrived at the club. Obviously Shaba is one of the top earners at the club and may be offloaded to relieve the budget as they seek to bring in fresh talent, something Benny McCarthy has made publicly clear. Yep guys, please let me know in the comments below, Shaba leaving Amazulu, where does he go from here? Does he retire or is there another PSL team that will be willing to take on the veteran midfielder. From Amazulu we jump to the high-flying Dube Birds as Swallow set to reward Freeze with a new deal. Swallow's goalkeeper Virgil Fries is said to be on the verge of being offered an extension on his current deal. Both the technical staff and Swallow's management are said to be happy with the 31-year-old's goalkeeping services. The Namibian goalkeeper helped the Dubai Birds get automatic promotion to the DSTV Premiership after winning the GLAD Africa Championship last season and now his contract is set to run out at the end of June. There's already been talks to extend his contract but there's nothing yet official. I can't really tell you when negotiations will start but it's gonna be soon. The 31-year-old Namibian goalkeeper has had stints with Golden Arrows, Marysburg United, FC Barocca and most famously Kaiser Chiefs where he was released after just a year serving at the Naturena based side. Guys, uh, please let me know in the comments below, does Virgil Fries deserve a contract extension at the Dubai Birds? Our next story takes us to Naturena as Parker and Castande set for Chiefs exit. Kaiser Chiefs are believed to have already Already alerted two of their longest serving players that their deals are highly unlikely to be renewed once they come to an end in June. Striker Bernard Parker and midfield anchor Wele Katsande are rumored to be heading for the exit door at Naturena. The duo have had limited game time since coach Gavin Hunt joined the Soweto Giants and now a close source to the Glamour Boys camp has stated that both Bernard Parker and Wele Katsande have already been told that they will have to make space for new players in June when their current deals expire at the end of the season. With Amakosi rumored and believed to be making moves behind the scenes as they look to bring in free agent Bushlam Kwanazi and super sport top goal scorer Bradley Hrobla for next season. Guys please let me know in the comments below is Parker and Katanda's time achieves over. Now we jump straight into the biggest story of the episode is Eredivisie giant set to battle for Chiefs youngster. According to various reports, Kaiser Chiefs youngster Nkosi Pile Ngobu could follow in the footsteps of former legendary South African players with the likes of Benny McCarthy, Steven Pina, and Tolani Serrero. Ngobu has been a consistent and impressive performer for Mokosi in an otherwise difficult season for the Naturena Bay side. The young midfielder has caught interest from the biggest clubs in the Dutch Eredivisie. According to Dutch reports, Ngobu has caught the interest of PSV and IA Amsterdam, two of the biggest clubs in the Netherlands. Ajax are well known for developing players and might benefit in bringing in the Kaiser Chiefs youngster should they decide to sign him. Ngobu is currently regarded as one of the hottest 
prospects in the PSL at the moment, with the young player currently contributing to three goals from the Kaiser Chiefs midfield. But on the other hand, PSV Eindhoven are said to be eager to sign him during the current transfer window, as they prepare to submit an official offer to the Naturena Bay side. The 21-year-old is currently valued at 4.6 million rands by transfer mark, and any potential suitor would have to triple or at least quadruple a transfer fee that would entice the Glamour Boys in greenlighting a move for their young midfield maestro. Sources to the player's camp state that there are teams from Holland who have been following him, with a view to joining them maybe next season. That would be a great thing, but they have asked to be put in contact with Chiefs, with another Dutch side extending a trial invitation for the young playmaker in early February. Guys, please let me know in the comments below, could Kaiser Chiefs let go of one of their most crucial players in the squad currently in the January transfer window? Now we switch sides to the other side of Soweto as Orlando Pirates set to offer veteran defender Happy Jelle a new deal. Orlando Pirates' longest serving player and former team captain Happy Jelle will be given another one year contract by the club. The Bucks captain was given a one year extension on his current deal last year, which is set to expire at the end of the current campaign. There's no way that Jelle leaves Pirates now. I know there's a lot of people who've been talking lately because they see Tyson wearing the armband, but well, he's definitely getting another contract because he's one of the most valuable players at the club. Guys, please let me know in the comments below can Happy Jelle still contribute to the Orlando Pirates project? Our last story of the episode takes us to the Brazilians, a Sundowns target, Zimbabwean left back. Divine Lunga could be set for a move from Golden Arrows to Mamelodi Sundowns if an agreement can be reached in negotiations over his transfer. Sundowns have raised their interest in Lunga as they seek to widen their options on the left flank of their defense, with talks between the clubs being already initiated last year. The Zimbabwean left back also had the possibility of moving to the Middle East after the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations final, however he chose not to. But now there's a huge possibility that he could move to Mamelodi Sundowns during the current transfer window, with Arrows having already started the process of identifying his replacements. The 25-year-old has played under Steve Compella while he was still at Arrows and was a reliable and effective option both in defense and attack down the flank. So guys, please let me know if Divine Lunga would slot in straight into that sundown system under Steve Compella as the Brazilians look to go from strength to strength. Yep guys, this is all we have for the episode. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next episode.